Next up, world of weights here, 77.1 kilograms or 170 pounds. John Oldenvist from Sweden in the blue corner. Nayef Fike from Bahrain in the red. And the Bahrain team, very talented team actually. They do a good job of making sure that the talent that trains with them and fights for them, the Russians and Dagestanis, Make sure that they train all train together and be training with elite teammates for several years. Definitely has elevated the game of Bahrain. And we'll see how they evolve in this fight. Very important for the natives of Bahrain to train with top talent from Dagestan and Russia. And serve, can only serve to elevate their game. Hey, big one too. From Bahrain fire. Here's he lands the right hand. The referee's looking on here. Fike looking. For the finish, he's got to pass the legs here to land some more decisive shots. He's got Oldenvist hurt. And engaging in the grappling realm here is going to give Oldenvist a chance to recover, regain his composure and his equilibrium. Okay, now giving Oldenvist the opportunity to recover. Oldham just briefly tasting the double underhooks. Battle up against the cage here, the unsung hero of mixed martial arts. Very taxing position. Unless you've been in this position, it's very difficult to understand how it feels and the importance of the position of the underhooks as well as the base up against the cage here. This is a battle of the nuances, almost like kinetic chess. You've got to wait for that opportunity to find the avenue to capitalize, circle off, to work the submission, or work the takedown here, as we're seeing. Okay, from behind. Let's turn the corner here, nice switch. But be careful about the strikes as he gets back to his feet here. But we know Fike has got some great power in that one-two combination. He's to land that right hand. Nice trip there from the Swedish fighter in Oldenvist. Straight into side control. He's got just over 40 seconds to work. Cage here will limit Fike's ability to elude the mount here as we're seeing from Oldenvist. Gives up the back. Potentially might look to turn into his opponent here. One hooks out. Fike needs to start thinking about turning into his opponent. That's why you see in Oldenvist control the right arm of Fike. See there he's weaved his hand on the inside that prevents the turn. Fike wants to turn to his left. Right now. Oldenvist is using that arm to leave his opponent to prevent the turning. As soon as, as soon as he lets go, you can see there, Fike turns into his opponent, gets back to a defensive position off his back in the full guard. Very, very exciting fight here from the Swedish and the Bahraini fighter. combination back-to-back one-twos who's unable to pass the guard 
and engaged in the grappling, which allowed Odenvist to recover. Nice punches there as McKay gets back to his feet. This was the end of the round here. McKay did a good job of releasing the arm and turning his, into his opponent to re retain the full guard. two combination with Fikay, from Fikay. Let's see if he starts to try and land that now. Norton Vistas has to be cautious about that right hand coming from his opponent. He needs to think about moving the head, staying off that center line, not charging straight forward and walking onto those straight shots. There's a nice left hand from Norton Deep kick here from Oldham. This the pace slowed ever so slightly. And that's largely due to the athletes looking for that tactical advantage. Oldham has to keep busy here, though. He has to keep his opponent guessing, not allow him to plant those feet and land those big, powerful punches, particularly that rear hand of Fikay. Nice knee to the body there. Drops Fikay. Oldham is swarming in for the punches. A smart play by Fikay to snatch up that single leg. And again, we're seeing here that the grappling ensues and it allows the ground and pound to really be limited by your opponent and allow you to recover. Oldham just doing the right thing here, looking for the back. Nice turn from Fikay. Fikay not giving up here. Oldham just looking for the mount now in a dominant position, raining down the punches. The referee's looking on to stop this. Oldham just has to keep busy with the punches, however. Oldenvis now looking to establish the back one hook in. Again with the ground and pound. BK very durable, very tough. Referee again asking for action. Oldenvis just able to maneuver around the Fike. The referee's going to stop this one. And it's John Oldenvis from Sweden, the winner by TKO. Take a look at the replay here. There was the body kick, and it was the knee right to the midsection that dropped Fikay just momentarily, but it prompted him to work the grappling. He was looking for the same tactical advantage that Oldenvis worked in the first round when he got hit by that big right hand. You know, to initiate the grappling, to smother your opponent, to stifle the ground and pound techniques, but Oldenvis was a step ahead with the positional awareness from the top position. You can see from the replay, it was immediately exposed in the back and forcing the ground and pound victory.